Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at an amazing tool called the Building Tool and it is made possible by some awesome developers known as Trajan and Lucky Kadam. Now this tool itself is going to save you so much time, especially if you're into, you know, layout, buildings, you're trying to create some amazing landscape for things that has to do with urban or, you know, you just want to work with buildings, this is going to make a lot of sense. And of course, a huge shout out to Chooks Okoro for sharing this and with that said, let's Dive directly into Blender and see how you can work with this amazing add-on. So I'll go ahead and show you how you can install this. Installing this is pretty simple. Go over to the edit, go to preference, download this from GitHub and load the zip file. And once this is loaded directly back here in Blender, what we're going to do is simply delete the default cube, like always, press N on your keyboard to get this started and you'll notice you have this right here. Now with this here, you can easily create any kind of building that you want. Actually, for the most part, this saves you so much time. So first things to do is click on create floor plan. Now this floor plan is everything you actually want when you want to start making stuff. So from this part, you will notice that there's a tiny button here which you can expand and you can select whatever thing that you want. So if you want to create like a regular building, you want to create a rectangular building, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to select something, or let's say you want to create a circular one, you can also change that. If you want to also make some composites, which is actually interesting. Now with that done, you can also, you know, switch to a head shape or you can select something random. Now with random, you can create several seeds and I think it's best we actually play with this one so that you guys can see how this works so i'm also going to go ahead and increase that and let's say we can make the length just about this of course if you have measurements this would make a lot of sense so with this done next thing you need to do is jump right here and go over to the edit mode so from the edit mode you would notice that you have the floor the roof the balcony stairs window door and also a multi-group that you can go ahead and add right now if you jump back to the object mode those things are invalid but when you go over to the edit mode this is where everything actually starts shining so i'm going to go ahead and simply add a floor and with that done you you can see we have one beautiful floor that we can actually you know throw in and i can make several floors so if i want to make two floors three floors four floors you know five floors and i can increase the length of the floor this is kind of you know procedural houdini style thing and i love the fact that it is a plugin that or you know it's an add-on that you can now have in blender so if you're thinking about creating some procedural kind of building of course this isn't like 100 percent node based procedural stuff but it works and you can actually use it for anything that you want so with this done the next thing which you want to do is maybe throw on a roof so for that roof i can simply add roof but you see by simply hitting the add roof nothing happens so how do we get this add roof to work all you have to do is switch right here to the face group and you know select the face which you want and this is actually where we want the roof to be and i'm going to click on add roof the minute we click on add roof we're going to get a slab which is like a flat roof and you might have seen this in a whole lot of cities this is exactly how they keep their roof and like this one but then if this is not the kind of roof that you want you want to get some you know some hip roof you want to get some gable you can simply switch to hip and you have a beautiful he proof right here so this is going to save a lot of architects you know modelers some time this is a huge time saver right here now the only thing about this is i can't find a way where you can you know go back in time and make changes but you can always always make some cool stuff as you proceed if you want to go in and play with the modifiers you see there's actually no modifier as everything is edit based so you can you know make your decisions very well before you proceed now with this tool here you can also choose to increase the thickness if this is also what you want if you want to you know offset this a little bit so with that said let's take a look at something else so if i press n on the keyboard one more time and go back and click on these and we switch right here select this as the regular roof rectangular roof rectangular floor yeah so with this done i would actually increase the width increase the length this is what we want switch this over to edit mode right here in edit mode we're going to put in a floor this is the floor we want and for your regular house you know you want to just simply have this right so i would simply keep this as it is now the next thing which i want to do is add a balcony and just like the roof once you click on add balcony nothing happens because you cannot add balcony without specifying the face where you want the balcony to be so for that you need to be able to select this and actually let's throw in that roof right now i'm just going to put in that roof and this is going to be a gable roof oh we like this gable roof don't we so with the gable roof i'm going to simply select a particular part right now and throw in a balcony I like this balcony so much and with the idea of adding the balcony there is also a huge range of presets that you can also play with so right now I can also choose to change this to railing and I can also choose to make this a wall balcony all right so you want to keep the kids safe you want to keep that there you can do that I can also set this to be what it is I can increase and reduce the density of what I want and I can also play with the size of you know 
how many things I want. If you want to make some credible place where your kids are just going to stay, yeah, you can do that. I would also change the height. So maybe I can bring that down and we can choose to offset this left for X and up and down for Y. This is very interesting, very Maya like. So the next thing which I want to do is also, you know, increase the size i can also increase the size and can you guys see like the more i increase the size very houdini like so the more i increase the size the more you know we have this uh balcony thing going on so that that makes sense i like this we can also do this oh i like this all right so with that done i can choose to throw in a couple of windows a couple of things and i can do that by selecting that part right now and i can throw in a door so now that we have this door there is a couple of things we can do we can choose to change the amount of doors we want so if you want two doors three doors four doors you have that there if you want it to be a double door you have that there double door yeah so you can make a double door or you can actually act this door so you can also do that so if you want to you know change the kind of arcing you want you can also do that right there i would you know switch this i don't want it to be that you can also change the type of door you want so you can choose to make it like that and this is also something you're going for and i actually think you know maybe just maybe we should offset this door a little bit let's say oh you know that's what happens when you undo this you kind of lose it and you know for me i think there should be some parameters that you can uh, toggle with and also get this going as there is no modifier that does that you can not be able to do that so we can set this door the way it is and with this done we can simply all right jump right here so right here might be where we want to have a couple of windows you know maybe we should actually add another window here maybe we should add a window here something like that so we have this door now let's take a look at something even more crazy and you know you know something that we can always always want to play with so with that i'm just going to go ahead and make something brand new now this is you know not your regular kind of stuff as i would simply go right here press n on the keyboard get this active you know create the floor but with this floor right now let's you know start this again you know create a floor you need to be very careful about this because once you lose this tiny button here everything seems to fall apart so it's actually very interesting to see that you cannot really have that dialogue you need to be careful because if you lose this you lose it so for this i'm going to simply go over to the H shift earlier we did talk about how you can put it random but now we are going to look at how you can work with probably the H shape or the composite so H shape looks nice so let's go ahead and play with that so I will simply increase or you know get this one here and then we can maybe make the tail come up a little bit further something like this looks good all right so with this the next thing which I would like to do is simply press tab on the keyboard so I can jump over to the edit mode so with that I would simply add a floor now this floor which i want to add i want to make about 16 floors let's go ahead and you know crank this up to let's make it 12 floors all right so we don't get greedy so 12 floors now for the very first floor which we have here nothing is going to be there then we can say for the second floor third floor we want to add some other things as they just simply proceed so for that i will switch right over here select this and then we can choose to add the balcony all right so we can throw in that balcony real quick we've seen how we can make balcony so i'm just going to go through and do that real quick so with this done the next thing which i want to do is just copy exactly this same parameter across the other one so how you can do this is very simple i'm just going to select this 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 all right so i'm just going to select all of these other ones and with all of them selected except the very last one i would go in and throw in balconies so you can see that exactly the same setting which i had for the first one replicates across all these other ones the same thing happens for the windows so if you want to throw in windows you can also do the same thing so if i simply select one right here i can throw in a window and just like the door you have various kind of windows that you can play with so there are various types so if you want to simply have a bar window a louver you want to go ahead and have like a glass panel window this this is just totally up to you guys you can simply do whatever you want if you just want to have something very plain like this you can choose to do that and of course you can still add this hacking so with that i'll just simply set this to what it is and i will increase the scale just a little bit so let's just make the scale just about a point like that all right so with this there the next thing which i would like to do is replicate exactly the same thing across all of them so real quick i'm just going to go ahead and do that and right there you can see that we have our window next thing we're just going to go ahead and add a simple roof yeah so for buildings like this 
the roofs are always always looking this way so you can choose to offset this roof if you want so if you want to you know increase the outset you can do that you know these are very interesting things you can do and you can also choose to increase the thickness you know just to show who the boss is right yeah so you can do that and this doesn't stop you from doing your default modeling all right because you can now go in here and choose to do your default modeling if this is also something you're trying to do you can press i on your keyboard and just simply do a very simple insertion and you can proceed to press e on your keyboard and also extrude downwards so either ways you still have the liberty of doing exactly what you have always wanted to do but you know you have way more things that you can actually create right now so with this done let's say you're now happy with all of what you've done you've gone ahead to replicate building doors everywhere that you want now the beautiful part about this is you can now switch back to your you know edit mode and ah, before you go you can choose to throw in some stairs so let's say you want to throw in stairs you can select the part and you can throw in a particular stair and you can make all of the changes you want for that stair this would make a lot of sense for so many people and with this done you can now use your array modifiers to get some array there so with this i'm just going to press a on the keyboard so i can you know get the array and with this array guess what we can do we can simply say we want to offset this by this all right so we just want to make it offset up to this point and we want to create about 10 beautiful so this is very interesting to see so you can make 10 of this and we can go in and throw another array so with this other array we can also choose to say we would want it to happen within the x axis we want it to happen within the y axis and set this to one and then we can also choose to offset this so i'm just gonna you know let's just offset this this way all right so i'm just gonna offset it to that point and with this done we can have a huge huge number of this so i can go like and you have this so you now have a huge set of buildings that you can walk through so real quick let's talk about some cool features that you also need to know about which consists of what and what you can do with some of the tools and materials as well some other cool interesting features which you also need to know is there is a multi-group so you can actually use the multi-group to add both doors and windows together so in this case if you just simply click on multi-group you can have doors and windows together and you can also go ahead and change the depth so for the depth you might want the door to be a bit inwards you can get that happening and yeah because we already did an extrusion here that's why you're getting that so you can have that happening as well and you can also go ahead and make changes to different kinds of features that you want for both this door and for the window so in a case like this let's say we're behind this and we choose to throw in a window we can simply you know set this window just one and with this done you can now see that we can also increase the thickness and we can also play with the frame size depending on what we want to get we can you know push this inwards we can push this outwards this is just very you know interesting to see that there is a tool like this that actually gives you this entire liberty of things that you would want to create so with this said let's talk about how you can throw in colors and how you can actually work with this material node down you know the material tool that we have right here if you go ahead and create a very simple flow like this then you create maybe another one and let's say you throw in a very simple roof how this works is this that to everything that you create there's a very tiny node right here that you can assign materials to so let's say we create this roof right now and switch this to gable and maybe you want to you know flip the direction of this gable you can actually go in and make some material choices right here so if we want the slab which is going to be like the floor to have a particular material we're going to be able to do that if we want the roof to have a particular material we can also choose to do that so you can you know create as much materials as you want and at the same time you can simply assign materials right here so if i simply go ahead and assign this first material and let's say i change this to a color like that and hit on assign simply means that this has that color so if i change to something like that we have that if i simply go over to the next material and i choose to you know create a brand new material right now by you know clicking right there you would notice we now have a brand new material that is being applied to this part we can also go over to the wall and then we can also choose to create another kind of material that we can apply to this so all of these materials they kind of make sense so if i simply click on the plus button right here so if i click on the plus button right here and add a brand new material i can also proceed to you know make changes to this so let's say we call this material one 
and right here I can select this as material one so all of the colors or you know all of the parts of this becomes that particular material so this would save you some time going independently and checking this by yourself as you can you know make all of this changes and, and get all of this things uh, up and running so let's say we are adding a brand new material let's go ahead and add another material right here and with this other one we can simply make this a little bit darker something like that and we can select this and just simply assign this right here so with this there's just a huge set of things that you can actually get going and all right so you know for the slab we kind of didn't cover this which you can actually do by yourself by simply going over to the edit mode and then you can proceed to select the edges select this edge go over to select select the entire loop which is the edge loop and then you can simply right click and fill all right so this way you can simply close that one out so very interesting stuff huge time saver and for anyone who wants to you know start making some very cool stuff like this this is definitely going to come in very handy and that's definitely about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you want to get these i'm going to put a link in the description where you can go over to the github and also the website that they've created for this and a huge shout out to the developers for making this available this is totally free as you can simply go ahead and get this and start working with it tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and of course in case you don't know we now have a patreon so you can go ahead and also you know support the channel right there on patreon and until i see you guys again with a tutorial updates free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace